Hello and welcome to my tutorial for creating camo. Right, first of all I'm going to open up Photoshop using Quicksilver which is available from blacktree.com. It's uh, very very simple, you just select a simple keystroke and you can load up whatever application you want. Now because I'm running QuickTime screen recorder, Photoshop's going to take ages to load up, so uh, please hold, bear with me. It's all going. There we go. Right, so we're going to create camo. It's really simple in Photoshop. So first of all, go File, run the damn thing, load, there we go. New, right, I'm just going to call it camo. Yeah, no, 34, because I've probably made loads of them already. Width, I'm going to have 1024 by 1024, so it's a good size square. If you want to have like 2048 or something, to buy 2048, then you can have a really nice high resolution texture for something like a gun in Counter-Strike, anything like that. Background content is going to go white and 150 pixels per inch, so it's not that particularly bad. 3 megapixel or 3 pixel, uh, 3 meg, whatever, edit that out. Right, so, click OK. And there we go, layers on the bottom right. This bottom layer here, we're not going to do anything with that yet, so I'm just going to click on layer, layer, layer. So I've got three new layers. Hide your back layer, and then hide your two top layers there. So now we're just going to be working on this one layer here. Right, so select black with your brush, and then just paint over. Whoa, QuickTime really taxes my little MacBook Air. Okay, so there we go, it's fully black. Then select filter, render, difference clouds, and it's just created a random pattern of difference clouds all over it. Now click on image. Click on Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Right. Brightness, I'm going to have up a little bit so there's more white. And then Contrast up a little bit more so the black, you know, is more black. And there we go, that should be fine. At this point, we're going to go Image again, click Adjustments, then click Posterize. Four layers is pretty cool, because this is the bottom layer of the camouflage. From what I've been told, the bottom layer should be the lightest colour and should be kind of all stuck together, as you'll see in a second. So, select that. Now, I'm going to select my one tool. You can choose W or just select Magic Wand. Hold your Shift key on your keyboard. And then I'm going to go for all these white bits here. So if it's white, I'm going to click on it. Within reason. I've got to make a video and not bore the crap out of you. Zoom in a little bit and get the little stragglers. Where are you? Any more? I can't be bothered anymore. Right. Get that back down to 50. 50. 50. There we go. Right. So now I've selected these layers. Click on your brush. Make it nice and big. Mine's 569. And so I'm going to make kind of a, oh, what should I make today? I'm going to make kind of an urban camo. So choose a lighter grey, so I'm going to choose that grey there. There we go. So just paint all over it. A little bit more. There we go. Now I've selected all this bit, so I'm going to select, click select at the top, and then select the inverse, so everything around what you just selected will be selected. Click on Backspace on your keyboard or Delete, and sorted. That's all gone. So this is my bottom layer of camouflage. And I'm going to go click Select and then Deselect. So that is just my bottom layer. Go for the next layer. And really quickly, I'm just going to rush through this. So paint it all black. Wait for your quick time to keep up. There we go. Give it a sec. Filter, render, oh, difference clouds, image, adjustments, brightness contrast, change it up a little bit because you don't want the same kind of result each time, do you? So this is your second layer, so you want slightly less selected. So back to your magic wand, no, no, image, ooh, adjustments, posterize, four levels. I'm going to go for the white bits yet again, because there's fewer of them. And I go for a slightly darker grey this time, I'm going to go for that grey. There we go. 
Okay, and I'm going to select the white bits yet again. But I just keep clicking away. Eventually, it's going to look okay. Not a particularly arduous job, and you can select whatever color you want, as I'll show you in a minute. So just keep clicking, and clicking, and clicking, there we go. So that's the majority selected. Get your brush out, and paint it. Make sure it's all nicely filled in, however you want. Go over it once again, there we go. Right. Select, inverse, inverse, <laughs> and then backspace. Get rid of it all. Hide that. Get your next layer out. Select that. Make sure you deselect your previous. And then once again, go for some black. Go for some black. There we go. So we filter, render, distance clouds, image, adjustments, brightness contrast, mix it up yet again. For this we want not anywhere near as much, so uh, try and get a little bit more black in this time. And then once again, image, adjustments, posterize. So we've got four layers. So I'm going to go for this kind of grey area there. So magic wand, let's go for the grey. A little bit more spaced apart. There we go, pretty nifty, eh? Grab your brush, and now you want to select that nice dark grey. And then there we go. Once again, select, inverse, get rid of it. You can see there's not much of it. Select, deselect, and then check out all your layers. So there we go, we have a camo pattern. It's not particularly full. Obviously, uh, try as you want. But what we're going to do now, select your background, unlock it all, and I'm going to go for a just off black. So it's kind of a charcoal y gray. And then get all these back up. And there we go. It's a bit dark, admittedly, but that's all right. You can change it up however you like. What you can also do, which is really cool, is you've got all these layers. You can add as many more layers in as you want. <clears throat> Obviously, it's not going to be uh, particularly camouflaged if it's an entire rainbow. But if you select your bottom layer, you can change the color of that. So say that's a little bit too light, or too dark even, sorry. Select another gray. It's probably going to clash with the grey I've already got, but that doesn't matter. It gives you an idea of what it does. Just a little bit nicer. What you can also do, select your layer, deselect all the other ones, select by colour range, I want to go for this range, so just get your little pipette out there, the uh, dip or whatever it is, click OK, and you can see it's just going to select this lot. I'm going to go for a nice garish orange, paint over it, Come on, paint, there we go. And there we go. Select, deselect, bash that bit out, that and that. Not going to camouflage anything, but it looks pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you want me to do some digital camo or something, then uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.